Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tales of Nazir. This is my nation's address from your one and only Nazir. Dear Mr. President, I hear you now want to commission a national cathedral in the capital. Ah, uh, well, pretty insightful and a good initiative. I still commend you on your free education initiative. Wonderful! Simply because education is the key. You see, in every given functional society, as you already know, there are societal institutions which constitute so many different establishments. We have the healthcare, economic institutions, religious organizations, educational institutions, justice system and legal institutions, so on and so forth. The Akosombo Dam, for example, as we all know, was established in 1961 by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and has provided electricity to Ghana and its neighboring West African countries over the years including Togo and Benin. The estimated cost of construction was $258 million at that time. Very costly, but also extremely essential. A few very essential institutional establishments I could mention are the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, the 37 Military Hospital, KNUST, Ghana Commercial Bank, etc, etc. National Cathedral. Hmm. But come to think of it, we don't really have a national cathedral in this country, oh which is of course a very paramount factor to the social institutional development, being given that Ghana, with an estimated population of about 31.7 million, is a heavily Christian-dominated republic as we all know. So indeed, as a country, we need an infrastructure established in the capital. And oh dear, it's very true. But my question is, is it really necessary at this time? I mean, Mr. President, are we really going to neglect the towering height of economic hardship in this country? There are so many things going on in this country. Oh. Now is not the time to be allocating the hard-earned taxpayers' money into a cathedral. While the dollar is beautifully appreciating to almost 8 Ghana cities per dollar, fuel prices going as high as almost 11 Ghana cities per liter, unemployment, potholes on major roads as deep as your parliamentarian's pockets, e-levy, ridiculous import and export duties, unpaid teachers and nurses' salaries, Wosirukosi Cathedral. Ow! <laughs> God, please send us back to British colony. We didn't deserve independence. At this point, we have let down in Krumo. <laughs> anyway, I hope this letter finds you well, Mr. President. Yours truly, Nazir. And I'm out. Peace.